Are you ready to try all of the viral London food spots that you've been seeing probably all over your For You page? I'm gonna go into London, I'm gonna give you the brutal honest truth because that's what I do here. Are they gonna be good? Are they not? Let's go and see. We are in London now and I am gonna to go to Donatelia to try their donuts. They've launched a reindeer one. Now I tried them before and they weren't that good. They're so expensive. They're like this really fancy, bougie donut shop and I'm intrigued to see if they've leveled up or not because I tried them when they first opened when everyone was going crazy for them. Oh London you look so sweet. We have got our donuts. They had so many good looking donuts. They look really good but that's the problem with a lot of these viral things. They look good but they taste rank. I'm actually going to try these later on at home and we are going to go to a Rome bakery because last year they had a really good Christmas special but I haven't seen that they've launched one so I'm just going to have a look. Gosh, I literally could have got everything in there. I did come away with a chocolate almond croissant because I just can't not get one when I go in there but they didn't have any Christmas things. Anyway, I'm gonna now go to Seven Dials Market. They actually have a lot of launches, but the thing that I have keep seeing is the prawn toast, which they say is a festive special, but I'm like, what is festive about prawn toast? But maybe we'll see. It says it opens at 11, but as you can see, it is shut. So I think we're gonna have to reroute. They have so many Christmassy things in Oldenstein, so I might wait in here whilst seven dollars opens it says it opens at 11 11 19. still no movement but it's okay i also went into olenstein i'm going to accrue all my different bits then we can do a big fat taste test well that was highly unsuccessful i waited an hour for it to open and then i went to every single market and each of them said they were either sold out or they're not actually selling it yet or... But all of them had the little signs up. So I think maybe we'll have to go back at another point because that was a big flop. The next place I'm going to is called Gong Cha. And I'm really hoping that they actually have it because maybe these are all just a, an Instagram swizz. They just want to lure you in and then actually they don't have them. I am so sad. They've run out of the little gingerbread milk tea things. I came in full of hope, full of zest for life. And he was like, no, sorry, we just sold it out. The word just as well, really, you know, salt in the wound. I'm not, I'm not being defeated here. I'm gonna go to Borough Market and hope that they have some delights for me. How flipping good does this look? Honestly, this is the problem with all the viral things online. They sell out because this is supposed to have a gravy dipping sauce, but they had sold out. But I'm very happy that we have this in our in our mittens. Mm. Don't get me wrong. It's very yummy. Very, very yummy. But I queued half an hour for this. Half an hour, I'm not exaggerating. I feel like no sandwich should be queued for half an hour. Equally, there is a lot of red cabbage, like it's very sweet and sort of like almost cinnamony, which is throwing me off my scent. It is good. The mayo with the creaminess and then the turkeys, like the meat is very soft and succulent. But I just think it's a tiddle too much cabbage for me. I think maybe we could have gone a bit heavier with some stuffing because it doesn't scream Christmas to me. Now, anyway, I'm going to head home now and I'm going to try and have a redo of attempting to eat these festive things because it just seems that everything has run out. But overall, not bad. And we're gonna go home and try the donuts. We are back from our ventures in London. Hence why I look a little bit disheveled, but I can't be bothered to get freshened up because I have been waiting to try these donuts. It's the only thing that's kept me going through that half an hour queue through the failures of everywhere being sold out. Wow! These look insane. I just hope they taste insane. <laughs> this little avalanche of a croissant. I only like chocolate in croissants. I think I've decided. I've tried so many different ones now. And oh, oh, it's got that like 
it made my teeth feel funny. We've got, I think that's like a chestnut filling in the middle. We've got the meringue on top. It looks impressive, but does it taste impressive? Two things that often struggle to be together in viral food. It's a very like cheap tasting croissant, not super buttery. That's not working for me. The top does have like a lemon meringue pie sort of quality to it. But this has no taste whatsoever. And the croissants taste a little bit old and fusty and musty. That is a wah 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 from me. Now up next, we have this one. Matcha and raspberry. Let's take a, let's take a whirl at that. Oh, goodness me. I'm hearing all sorts of sounds as I cut into this. Kind of sounded like fizzing. What the heck? Oh no, it's got like the hard meringue. You know when meringue goes a bit overcooked? That's a texture no one wants in their life. It has to taste fresh, right? Because it was made, I literally saw them making it. First things first, that oil needs a clean out. You know when you can taste when oil has just been sitting there? I think that's the case for these donuts. Secondly, what is happening with the textures? There's no crunch, it's squatchy. Like it doesn't even taste of anything. It just is texturally a questionable thing. Let's go for this guy. What's not working here is they've got like an outer chocolate shell. I think it's candy melts and candy melts have a really like synthetic cruddy taste to be honest with you no no i don't understand if i'm being picky with my donuts or if these are just rank so in the comments if you've tried this please let me know if i'm just being a bit of a donut diva something's not right here these taste old and it has no flavor let's move on i'm gonna clean my board because I don't want to look at you for a minute longer, all right? Someone said in one of my reviews that I'm too harsh. I'm giving the Simon Cowell of the food world, but I'm just honest. It's not harsh when it's harsh, but fair. I do actually feel quite confident about Olin, Olinstein, and a lot of people have messaged me about this. It's looking like a nice, fun, chewy brownie. It's called a muffin though, so maybe I don't want brownie. Let's see. It's not groundbreaking. It's not that innovative. It's just like a good old chocolate muffin. Nothing that exciting. I feel like you could get it in Sainsbury's. This one wins on aesthetics. I think it's the cutest darn little thing. I'm sorry. How sweet is that? I think this is the winner for me, even if it tastes rank. It's apparently like a tea cake. It's got marshmallow throughout. Wow. You know who'd love this? Papa Booth, he would absolutely gobble that up. Look how much marshmallow that is. If you like marshmallow, this is the one for you. I mean, it's very sickly, but it did say it was a marshmallow filled snowman. So it's kind of doing what it says on the tin. It's got the nice little shortbread, to give a little bit of textual difference. I like that croissant. Look, it's not blowing me away, but the design was impeccable. And it's done what it said on the tin. Last and by no means least is this guy, which is kind of terrifying to me because I don't love coconut and I know this is rolled in green coconut. It's kind of sweet. It kind of reminds me of the Grinch. Hmm. The base is kind of fun. It's got some chew to it. It's like a coconut macaroon. You know those Mrs. Crimble's ones? Not bad. Again, just ratios a little bit off for me. A little bit too much marshmallow going on. I feel like Olenstein did better than Zone Atelier, but we're working with the bare minimum. I want more from these places. Well, I guess we will see in part two. So, hand over to Grace on a Monday to see if they have the products. Right, it is a new day and I am ready to tackle the Christmas foods and see if they have them in store. I'm gonna first up go to Seven Dials because they were the ones that had nothing in stock and I really want to get my hands on that prawn toast. So let's see. We are back. There are so many festive delights that I'm seeing. I'm feeling like today's the day. Look at this. 
They have a Christmassy burrito even. My goodness me, I am so glad that I went back because that bun was so delicious. It was really noisy in there so I couldn't film. But that roast in a bun. Now, I'm not into the kale that was just chucked in there because it was really hard to bite. It was very messy. It was the messy affair. But the flavours and the bun was so soft and it was just like everything was a little match made in heaven. And I really flipping loved it and I would get it again. I'd get it even if it wasn't Christmas time. I loved it. We're now on our way to try and find the gingerbread tea and then we're gonna go and get creme, which is one of my favorite cookie places in London. Their Christmas special, let's go. So, as you saw, we had the creme cookie. There's two. One of them was sold out. I believe one of them is vanilla white chocolate. And then this one, which is a very interesting flavor approach, is chestnut. Look at that. I love creme cookies so flipping much. They're just like so satisfying and they just hit the spot every time. That is a really strong flavor of chestnut. I feel like they've done a really good job. It's a bit chewier than I'd like and a bit more cakey. I feel like I do prefer the normal cremes, but I feel like they've really delivered on flavor, on texture, on just overall good timeness. I finally got the Blank Street drinks. This is a candy cane iced coffee, and this is a chocolate orange mocha, which, if you know, I love the Costa Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate, so I'm intrigued to see what they'll taste like. I'm gonna wait until I'm home, because. It's very dreary and rainy, and I just want to sip it in the comfort of the home. Me, oh my. I have been on a journey today to try and find all of the things that were sold out the other day. I have a few things left to try, and I've ordered them on delivery, because then, instead of me traipsing around to all these different places, I can know that they are there and within my sweet, sweet taste. I have tried to find this gong cha gingerbread bubble tea and they are literally sold out everywhere i've given it a shot and i've ordered it on delivery and i'm going to see if it comes in the beautiful the stunning bottle apparently it's selling on ebay for a thousand pounds for that bottle what that is crazy to me whilst we wait for the things on delivery to come we have two drinks this is from blank street i have seen blank street everywhere on instagram on tiktok everywhere and they do really fun different drink ideas now one of them that went viral in summer was the blueberry matcha and this one I've been seeing everywhere and it came with a little candy cane which I've already, I've already devoured it but it's a candy cane iced latte. That's kind of weird. I'm not a big coffee lover but this doesn't taste super strong of coffee. Why is it kind of good? It tastes like you've just brushed your teeth and you've had coffee yet it's ever so moreish. I don't normally like coffee. I don't know what they've done this. It's probably just got so much sugar in it. Honestly, kind of fantastic. And the other drink they have, which I want to see if it rivals the Costa chocolate orange hot chocolate, but it's a mocha. So let's see. Wow. I don't know what syrups Blank Street are using. I don't know if they make their own, but the flavors are just hitting you in the tonsils. That is, that is a really nice chocolate orange taste. I feel like I want to know what Blank Street are up to because their syrups are sublime. We have our first delivery. This is so exciting. This is the Honest Burger and it has a deep fried camembert in it. Oh my goodness. Can you see this in all of its glory? That is insane. That is crazy. Oh my word, that is huge. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like deep fried camembert, good. Burger, good. Together, not so good. I feel like they should be left separate entities. The deep fried camembert overpowers everything and the only flavor that I'm getting here is deep fried camembert. I feel like it needs something to kind of cut through the fatty saltiness of it all. 
it's good, but it's not wowed me. I think it needs some sort of vinegary, something to just really punch on through in there. Now with it, you get a winter slaw. And I, oh, I thought I was gonna try it because I felt like, you know, we gotta give all the winter Christmassy things a taste test. But it just looks like a normal coleslaw, to be honest with you. I can't be bothered to get a fork, don't judge me. That is coleslaw. If it's a winter slaw, we could add some cranberries, some toasted walnuts, something for a bit of, hey, chuck a chopped Brussels sprout in there for ultimate festivities. It's okay. If I had a spinny chair, I would have spun around and gone, welcome to the Duncan festive menu. This is one, again, I have seen everywhere and people have been raving about it. I don't know why, but Duncan Donuts is not really readily available in England. The thing that everyone goes for is Krispy Kreme. Yeah. Let's get started. I've got three drinks, three donuts. This is the candy cane iced chocolate. Obviously at Bank Street, we have the candy cane iced latte. So I'm intrigued which one I like more because normally I like the chocolatey option. None of this coffee nonsense. So let's see. Oh my goodness. That's phenomenal. It literally tastes like a melted after eight. Mm. That just glides on down the throat a little bit too easily. That is fantastic. Then we have the ginger cookie ice latte. Apparently Dunkin' Donut coffees are so sweet, you basically can't taste the coffee in them. Let's see. It actually really has the cookie taste, the ginger taste, and the coffee. <laughs> That's phenomenal. It is so sweet though. I feel like I'm gonna be buzzing my pants off the rest of the night. Then we have the candy cane hot chocolate. It's like really creamy and not super bitter. Mmm. As hot chocolates go, I've been on the hunt for the best hot chocolate in London. This is underrated. This is a really good hot chocolate. Well, Duncan, I get why everyone's raving about you, my sweetheart. Let's not go under the radar this Christmas. It's your time to shine. Now let's go for the donuts. This one was just reindeer, but I'm seeing some chocolate in there. Oh yeah. Oh, and why is that salty? The donut texture was very promising. And unlike many donuts I've had in my time, it doesn't taste like it's been cooked in the same oil over and over again. I don't like this icing. It's salty, but not in a good salted caramel way. Mm -mm. Let's take a moment for this perfect looking donut. How gorgeous is that? I feel like it would be on a Simpsons advert. That is just glazed to perfection. I don't know how they have that so neatly done. Oh. Oh, oh, feels like I'm chewing sandy mints. Mint in a donut should not be a thing. Chocolate mint would be good, but this is like minty. The last one we've got is this, which I don't know if you've ever seen Christmas with the Cranks. There is a snowman in it called Frosty. And he's a little bit terrifying, yet terrifying, yet endearing. And love. you just kind of want to love him. I kind of feel this way about this guy. I'm like, I almost don't want to look at him because he's a bit scary looking, but isn't he sweet at the same time? Oh, I do not like the glaze they use on their donuts. They're really gritty. And like, I don't know if it's just been sat there for a while, but it feels sandy. It's not nice and smooth and creamy. Not a vibe from me. Not a vibe at all. Overall, funnily enough, the Dunkin' drinks taste delicious. <gasps> Maybe it's called dunking because you're supposed to dunk them in the drinks. <sighs> Don't judge me. No, no, it's not. That is a bad idea. The penultimate taste test. This is the Xmas Cock Cock, it's called. And this is from Bone Daddies. They do different ramens. This is their Christmas special. It had a Yorkshire pudding, pigs in blankets, and all sorts in the picture. Is it gonna be like everything else we've eaten? Like the Honest Burger. They should just stay good in their own right. They don't need to mix together to create something wonderful. I am so intrigued about this. Oh, it really is like, it's a roast dinner. Look at that. This is wild. I will be back when I have prepared my roast dinner ramen. <laughs> These are all of the bits and bobs. We've got the Yorkshire pudding, the pigs in blankets, the stuffing, the turkey, the cranberry, and the heated up broths. This feels bizarre to do. 
two very good things that I don't know if they belong together. Who thought this was a good idea? Did they actually make this with intent of it being good? Right, who wants a soggy pig and blanket? Although I suppose ramen's just one tick away from gravy. Right, let's taste the ramen broth first. Salty and really flipping good. Oh my gosh, I could just drink that in bucket form. Right, I feel like I've got to try and get a mouthful with absolutely everything. Oh, it kind of just melts into nothing. Right, here we go. This is the main event right here. That is a great pig and blanket on its own. It shouldn't be in with this. This seems so weird. That is wrong on all levels. That does not belong together. As ramens go, this is a really good ramen and that's a really good roast dinner. But as I kind of anticipated, <laughs> together it's a bit peculiar. Let's get some of this turkey going. The turkey works fantastically in there. That is great. See a turkey ramen with some like shaved Brussels sprouts, but I suppose that's not super exciting. That would have worked. We don't need the whole roast dinner, do we? And now I'm gonna finish this up as we wait for uh, bubble tea milk. Will it come in the form of a gingerbread? Who knows? We can only pray and hope. We have the teas. However, I am not seeing the shape of gingerbread in this. I'm just seeing two cups. Still looks really flipping cute and really festive. Look at this. How cute is that little Christmas scene? And this one, it's a little Santa. Really, really sweet. This is the gingerbread milk tea warm with bubbles. And I've never had like a warm bubble tea. And then this is the gingerbread milk tea with, look at that like thick layer of milk tea. That looks really good. I love bubble tea. Oh. Oh, I've broken it. I've never had this hot one before. Am I gonna like it? Mm. That's so comforting. I know bubble tea is not everyone's cup of tea. Mmm. This one kind of tastes like a chai. That's really good. And it's kind of fun with the bubbles because it's kind of like a bit of a chew, a bit of texture. They're just really fun to eat. That's so good. It's festive, it's sweet, it's creamy. Like it really tastes of gingerbread. They are a big fat thumbs up for me. Even though they don't come in the fun gingerbread shapes, I'm still so into it. That is a good flipping time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this roller coaster of video. I am still gonna post it because I wanna show you Sometimes it's not worth the queuing. Sometimes you just have to knuckle down and realize that the classics shouldn't be touched. However, some of the things were delicious. I like these. I actually really recommend these. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned every Monday and Thursday, 5 p.m. throughout December. I will be posting on here and I put Vlogmas, which is every other day, a whole lot of videos to keep you entertained through this festive period. I hope you enjoy. Cheers. What would you eat and what wouldn't you eat in that video? And how do you feel about a roast dinner ramen? Is it just me that's weird about that? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!